Potassium, oxygen, fluorine, neon, sodium and magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chloride, argon, potassium, calcium, bling, in the periodic table. Like in a map of navigation, you'll find the clues, just pay attention, kindred elements go side by side. Really? Similar physical chemistry puts the elements into family, their properties we can now predict. Wow, interesting. Metallic elements on the left hey. and metallic elements on the right. Hey. In normal climate, the metallic solids are, the non-metallics are liquid, liquid or gas. gas. Hydrogen, helium, helium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, sodium and magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chloride, argon, potassium, calcium, they live in the periodic table. In 1869, Mendeley found new rules for elements using their atomic weight. Other scientists helped researching on their own. The table was completed and finally we've got a periodic table classified from simple elements to complex ones where all the elements we can find. Let's repeat them one more time. Hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluoride, neon, sodium and magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chloride, argon, potassium, calcium, they live in the periodic table. Breaking down matter to the very essential, we will find a unit that is fundamental. We will call the unit element, element. element. Repeat with me, element, element, element. Hydrogen mixed with oxygen. Water. Silicon mixed with oxygen. That's gas. Sodium mixed with oxygen. That's salt. Carbonic acid and salt. Toothpaste. Different elements you can combine. A new material now you will have. Different elements you can combine. A new material now you will have. Wonderful chemical world. Hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, sodium and magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chloride, argon, potassium, calcium, they live in the periodic table. Hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, sodium and magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur,
Okay, it's showtime. Are you ready? Who am I? Einstein. Who am I? Einstein. What's my name? Einstein. Shout it out loud. Einstein. Okay, listen very carefully. Einstein. I'm a space and time specialist. Einstein. I investigated light and was the study of a lifetime. Mathematically, my ideas and discovery were verified finally. How is it? Pay attention, you must understand this. Light is always traveling at constant speed. Made of particles. Light is a particle. Light is very fast. It's the fastest thing we know. Glory to the light. demonstrated that light has similar properties to those on the particles and was awarded with a physics Nobel Prize in 1922. Based on this, he proved the special theory of relativity. I think Einstein is a real genius! When I was a student, I questioned it all. I was a curious, a curious boy. And many were the questions I asked myself. I really, really wanted to know it all. Why do birds fly? How do windmills work? How do things work? So many questions about the matter and the light it emanates Endless curiosity, memorization If you want to study, just memorize it all Just memorize, put your doubts aside And repeat what you were told, repeat what you were told Put your doubts outside and repeat what you were told I found no use in all this repetition So I imagined that question I resist And just like that I was expelled from my class Just because I refused to memorize Put your hands up, put your hands up Oh, oh, okay, okay now everyone, if there is something you don't know, make questions! Don't be afraid to ask questions. When you don't know, make questions! questions. If you want answers, think! think. If no one knows, imagine. imagine! You just need your imagination to discover new things! Yeah! Okay, let's go! go, go. The greatest scientist of the Shosun dynasty was Zhang Yongxil. The world was amazed, Zhang Yongxil. He was a great scientist, Zhang Yongxil. Also an inventor, Zhang Yongxil. A true investigator, Zhang Yongxil. A great sun clock, he designed. The clock's name was Anbui Gu. While the earth is moving, shadows cast. Always depending on where the sun is. Shadow stretching, dusk or dawn. And when it's midday, sun is up. A shadow is projected with the tip of a needle. Honoring that show date and time to people. The rotation of the Earth lasts a day and the Moon in one month orbits Earth In a year, Earth goes around the Sun The projected shadows mark the time But Chang Zhongxil still faced a great problem. On rainy or cloudy days, even at night time, shadows disappeared and time could not be measured. Time prediction motivated his investigation for at least 10 years. That's how he invented the water clock, the Jiunggu. Before that, when the clock was full, a man pounded a drum to announce what time it was. But in Chang Zhongxil's clock, when the water tank was full, water elevated a wooden stick that let a marble fall. This marble activated a mechanism that moved some dummies to ring the different bells, making everyone who heard it know the time. 
Ang Wiggle, Sun Club, Dragon Root, Water Clock. I kept inventing and imaginating. Farmers in the clubs suffered harsh weather, floods and droughts. So to make things better, came the first pluviometer. I designed it too in the year 1442. So when it rained, I used this container just to see how much it had rained. The secret is to use the same container, no narrow, no wide, tall or short, perfect size. That's how it worked. This is the story of the scientist Chong Yong Chil. His incredible talent distinguished him. Seasons and time he put together in the sun clock, I'm Boidu, and the automatic water clock that was called Jagunu. Even if it rained all day long, even at night time, it still worked. The first pluviometer was his design. Yes, the first one in the world. Put your hands up, put your hands up. Oh, oh, put your hands up, put your hands up. Put your hands up, Chan Young Shi. Oh yeah. I grew up in a world. It wasn't easy to be a girl. I loved science, and that was in spite of my loneliness at study time. No one could explain the rays emanated by the uranium. So I investigated, and for my great work, a Nobel Prize I won. I traveled to study at Sorbonne, at Paris. A scientist there I met, my beloved Pierre Curie. I got a physics degree, and in maths another one, and in time both of us built a modern science lab. By a mystery, I was moved. Atoms, invisible energy, can be measured, not be seen. I don't know the process here. I call them radio. Those are disintegrated atoms And unstable material and its light Is radioactive, that's right There are light waves with so much energy That are invisible to the human eye X-rays can pass through solid matter And are very useful in medicine to see people's bodies if there is a long wave, the luminous energy will be red. But if that wave is short, there's more energy, and that light will become blue. The radium and the polonium are radioactive elements I found them and so I call them like that To reference Poland, my dear homeland I am Marie Curie The first woman to have A physics Nobel Prize And then to have Dream of gliding through the air and to fly Be able to travel anywhere and to fly Fly like a giant bird, that's the objective Hours of study of birds and their wings To try and to fail, cause copying doesn't go well We should go on and improve our design And we'll fly, fly away through the sky when someone has a dream and a goal And wants to fly up high, conquer the sky 
if he works hard involving all of his heart all of that effort will be useful and he'll fly the wright brothers were completely committed with the dream of flying oh yes and we didn't give up despite many failures the shape of the wing design is the key air flows faster overhead than below and the pressure decreases besides the higher pressure under the wing creates a force that pushes it upwards and that makes the plane stay in the air big dream of gliding through the air and to fly be able to travel anywhere and to fly fly like a giant bird that's the objective People told us it was useless to try We never gave up because our dream was to fly And if your work involves all of your heart You will fly, you will fly, you will fly When someone has a dream and a goal And wants to fly up high, conquer the sky If he works hard, involving all of his heart all of that effort will be useful and you fly Soaring the sky of your imagination You'll find out the strength that you need To lift your passion up And to the whole human race This is our place Planes are the best and can take us anywhere Laughter and laughter as we travel through the air Humans and all of the things the skies will soar When someone has a dream and a goal And wants to fly up high, conquer the sky If he works hard, involving all of his heart All of that effort will be useful and he'll fly